can also classify a computer by size. When we classify a computer by size, we look at computers based on magnitude and processing ability. This type of classification group computers into four, namely supercomputers, mainframe computers, mini computers, and microcomputers. Let's look at supercomputers. Supercomputers are the fastest and most expensive machines in the world. Unlike other computers, the speed of a supercomputer is measured in floating point operations per second, which is called flops for short. While normal computers are measured in million instructions per second, this means that one petaflop is equal to 1,000 trillion flops, and a supercomputer with one petaflop can perform up to a one quadrillion flops per second. Supercomputers are very large and are fast and the most expensive machines. They handle complex computations within seconds and consume high energy and can generate high amounts of heat. Supercomputers use parallel processing, vector, scalar, and multi-threaded processors to perform their tasks. They can run different operating systems in different nodes and be used in nuclear research and aircraft designs. A typical example of a supercomputer is Cray-1 and Fugaku. Fugaku, Japanese Fugaku happens to be the fastest supercomputer in the world today. Mainframe computers are designed to be used for data servers for major corporations around the world. They have the highest level of security and can reliably perform trillions of interconnected transactions in a day. Their size is quite smaller than the size of a supercomputer and they are designed for longevity and speed. Mainframes are designed with three key characteristics in mind which include reliability, availability and serviceability. They are also designed to ensure that data integrity is protected and remains available for a long period of time without failure. A mainframe computer can run multiple different instances of, a diff of an operating system through virtual machines. They are usually used in cloud computing for large-scale data transactions. A typical example is Honeywell 6000 series. Many computers are smaller general purpose computers that were developed in the late 1960s. They are smaller, less expensive, and less powerful than mainframe computers. They are usually multi-user systems used as mid-sized mid servers in different organizations. They can support multi-processing and multitasking and are robust at handling workloads. Some mini computers can have more than one processor and are using different fields of business and communication, including database management, transaction processing, engineering, and scientific computations. An example is PDP 8. Microcomputers are generally called personal computers and they are primarily used by individuals in workplaces and homes. They are smaller in size, relatively cheap, and have a central processing unit. Their popularity can be traced to the 1970s and 1980s. Since then, the size of a, mini, of a microcomputer has continued to diminish by the day. There are different types of microcomputers, including desktops, laptops and notebooks, tablets, smartphones, smart TVs, smart watches, and smart refrigerators. A microcomputer is a general purpose machine that can be used to perform different kinds of tasks depending on the software that is installed in the machine. In conclusion, classification of computers by size can be divided into four, the supercomputers, mainframe computers, mini computers, and microcomputers. Supercomputers are very expensive, followed by mainframe computers and mini computers and generally microcomputers, which are less expensive.